Uh, hey guys, it's EJ here. Um, so Pablo had a question on how to install the CSGO hub, so to answer his question I thought this would be uh, easier. Um, it is a bit hard to get this running, but it's once you realize what's going on and how it actually works, it's pretty simple. And um, I'm going to butcher his name, but Oz, Oz10 Curden is a pretty good god, so um, we'll jump right into it. First thing you do... Uh, download all of the files, click there, download zip, um, and pretty much, you can just follow the readme, um, things to do before running. Node.js needs to be installed, so Google that, Node.js, download, and just download the Windows installer, the Mac installer, whatever you need, it's all here, you got Linux as well. Um, download that. Uh, and then you also need to have these two uh, config files placed inside your CSGO folder. So we'll just go to the zip that we downloaded, popped up over here, and my my images and weird shit. Um, so you extract it, and then you open it. Then you got this, and so you need to go to public files cfg so you go public files cfg and these are the two files you need um and these are what they look like so you got this url uh a bunch of like settings and stuff and then you got the observer which is the setting up of the hud um so this changes all your hud settings so it's a good idea to have a backup of your current config uh, if you want to keep your current settings. Um, so I have my own EJ config and then I have an observer config, so just be wary of that. So you want to grab these two files and then you want to go to Steam. And this is just an easy, dumb way to find your um, directory. So you, you right click, you open properties, you go local files, you browse local files. Then you go, this is your CSGO folder. And then you go CSGO, CFG, and you just copy and paste into there. Uh, I already have the files in there, so I won't do that. Um, and also, uh, just another thing to add that I've personally done. Uh, on top, if you ever want to change any of the HUD settings, um, so I have a bunch of extra stuff like a custom crosshair uh, for my observer file. Um, Feel free to like copy this, but like, um, this is the file you want to chuck things in to like change your config. Um, so yeah, those are my file settings and stuff. Um, so that's all you need to do there. So we got the Node.js installed and the config files. Uh, next we need to do is run CSGO in full screen windowed. Uh, and after running it, connect it to a match and type observer config, um, which will just make everything, you know, disappear, uh, make it nice looking. So we'll launch CSGO. Go over to here. Da 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 da. All that profile picture. That's like seven years old. <laughs> At least. Zombie Driver, if anyone remembers that game. Gotta love that shit. Anyway, I'll load up. CSGO takes forever. Good fun. Chuck that sucker on a SSD one day. But for now, we'll do this. So it's in full screen mode. Uh, full screen windowed. Uh, which is what you need. Or like, I'll just prove it. Whatever. Go to here. Video settings. Change this. Full screen windowed. Uh, and then we can just uh, view a game. So I just this works. By the way, this works with uh, any game you're just observing. So that cl includes live games and downloaded games. So you can just go to a downloaded game. Um, we we'll go to this one. Um, this was complete, uh, completely terrible. <laughs> I was really stressed out playing this game. Uh, uh, okay, we'll continue to follow this. Uh, and we'll have to run the observer. So we'll literally just copy and paste this so we can't possibly fuck it up. <sighs> Let it load. I don't know why. 
My CSGO likes to do that, but it's fine. Move on with our lives. Okay, open up your dev console. If you don't know how to do this, I'll go over everything just in case people don't know. Go to game settings, enable dev console, yes. Um, and then you just copy paste execute observer, get rid of the CFG. Just execute observer. So now your game should look like this. So we'll find a dandy. Then we'll go back to our folder. So this is the config. You don't need to copy any of this. This is already in there. Um, except one thing, which is Steam API key, which I'll go over soon, which pretty much uh, it goes in to Steam's API and um, grabs all the avatars and such. Uh, I'm just going to mute mute this real quick and I can't um find zero cool. um mute that real quick um yeah that's something you also have to set up if you don't have avatars uh my problem was if when you change this from true to false it doesn't actually remove avatars so if you don't want avatars uh don't bother with the steam api key but anyway moving on uh, how to make it run. So you've got Node.js installed, you've downloaded this, you want to start the run file. So if we get this up again, um, this is my other one, my actual, uh, that's my actual thing that I've been doing stuff with. Okay, so this is the original file. So you want to click the run button, you click the bat if you have windowed, if you have Linux, you, uh, press, you press the shell, the sh. So you want to use the bat if you're on window or mac i'm pretty sure so just double click that should load like this give it a moment and then if you're just bored and I don't know, press enter or something sometimes that helps i don't know why probably just a placebo effect it kind of loads in like a low bar it's loading all the files in um it's actually installing npm uh, every single time, which is kind of weird, but we'll just roll with it. Actually taking longer than usual. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, I don't actually know why I have vulnerabil uh, like vulnerabilities. Um, I just know it works still, so I don't really care. <laughs> uh, and then the next thing you need to do uh, so that's that's like the server, uh, the local server for the overlay. But now you need the actual overlay. Um, so now that's actually gathering information from CSGO. So you need to download the overlay, which is here. Click that. And you just, you just download. Um, download anywhere. Uh, I should probably do this again. Yeah, I will. And then you want to go to that file. And I just... I just chuck it right in there. Wait for this to download. 145 megabytes. And then once you it's downloaded. I'm on Australian internet. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Failed me all my life, damn it. Um by the way, we'll just go over really quickly. If you didn't know how to change HUDs, here's all the stuff to create your own HUD. Um but pretty much everything is in public. This is pretty much all the stuff you'll stuff around with. So this is the default um, HUD. Really nice. Um, and there's actually uh, newer HUDs. So you probably see I've got two other HUDs that I've kind of took. Um, which uh, looks like it's going to get merged into the main um, thing soon. So that should be fun. But for fun, uh, for shits and giggles, I'll merge it in right now i won't, won't merge it but you know you get the point so you got two other huds okay so now once you have this raw file um you'll be given you just extract here and you'll be given a win 32 or win 64 depending on what type of operating system you either have a 32 or 64 um surely you know if you don't know uh you can just type system i'm pretty sure I'm actually not 100% confident. Yep. Uh, I've got a 64 type. You type system, system type, tells you, whatever. Um, so you don't need the 32. Okay, win 64. 
uh, and then you just want to run this and it's just going to close. It, it's kind of weird, this app, uh, this application. So it just ran. That's, that's it running. Um, it's nothing more. Um, it's definitely the weirdest thing. I would like just to have it like pop up, like the overlay is running, but, um, I also like that it just kind of goes away and here you go. So sorry, I jumped through that kind of fast. If you want to, this is how you actually connect to the HUD now. So you want to open this, copy that, and then you paste it into your um, internet browser. I use Chrome. And here you go. You make all the teams, the players, create the match. Uh, and here's your HUDs, and here's our two extra HUDs. So I'll just make an instance of this HUD. And this gives us a link. Um, and open in a new tab. And this is our HUD. So this is the current game going on. Um, so this is this game, so I'll just launch my EJ execute, so you can see it's currently 303. Uh, and you've got EJ, you got Firefox, um, you got the same players, all this is connected now. Um, and it's practically live, you know. Yeah, you can see the time counting down, it's all good. Um, all the ammo and everything updates. So now everything you see you can change and that's what I've been doing. But um, that's how you get the HUD done. Uh, one thing you'll notice is it's actually, this thing is off-centered. And the reason it's off-centered is it's made room for avatars, which are currently enabled. Um, so if we just volume zero this again, so it's not annoying. Um, the way I've fix this. Uh, I'll show you how to just get avatars. So you want to go to Steam API key. That's what you want to get. Um, so this is in the config JSON, um, which is in this main file. And you see config JSON. Um, and this is everything you need to know. Yeah, okay. So this is what's broken. So this should actually be, um, this should be centered. But this is broken at the time of making this video. I will leave an update in the comments once it's fixed, like a little update thing. Um, but at the moment, it's broken. Uh, but if you do want to connect your avatars in game and display them on the HUD, this is how you do it. Steam API key. Type it in. Go there. Um, I don't. I don't want to go in there and have to edit and blur stuff. But you go into there. Uh, you name it whatever you want, like overlay, and then it'll give you a key. And then all you got to do is put your key in there. Um, and this key is linked to your account. I don't really know too much about the key, so I don't want to get doxxed or some shit. Um, so just not going to show it. Um, you go in there, you make it, and then you put it in this box. Uh, and this will show the... It will show avatars and such. So I'll just get my my other, uh, yeah, my other one, uh, my existing key. So uh, it should just be a bunch of numbers, a, a bunch of capital letters. Paste that in there, and then you want to try and I think you need to rerun it. Yeah. So you need to close this. Um, Close it, and then back to your file, and then you want to run it. Takes a bit. Um, cool, don't care. And also, if this IP, uh, no, if this port ever changes, uh, you fuck something up, by the way. It should always be this port. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So now we've got images. Um, and also another thing, you see this is a white background, it's actually not really white. If you want to, this is how you get into uh, OBS, if you're going to use something like OBS. So you copy this, this um, URL, and this is my OBS, say hi. Uh, then you want to click here, uh, where your sources are, uh, where your sources are, you want a browser source, um, make a new browser, name it whatever you want, put the URL in there. Do the resolution of your canvas, so whatever your, um, and there you go, there's our HUD, uh, whatever 
your canvas is, your base resolution is, which is just what this is, this preview. So now if we go into here and we actually execute observer, um, this is how it looks on stream. So in reality, the game looks like this. Um, and that counter shouldn't be there. That's just glitched. <laughs> Thanks, game. Can we not? Okay. <laughs> I'm shit out of luck, boys. Um, ignore that. But, like, this is just how it looks like. So it changes with the person you go to. The avatar changes. For some reason, it's a bit laggy. Um, I think that's... I don't know why the... Actually, I'm pretty sure that just requires, like, a force. Um, refresh. Yeah, so I just had to refresh the avatar. So if... Uh, sorry, the avatar. Sorry, I mean HUD. So if you realize your HUD's a bit laggy or something, just click this button and create match and just, like, force restart it. Um... Yeah, so this is your HUD. Uh, I hope I helped. This is honestly just a train wreck of a video uh, of me desperately trying to work out um, how I did this. Uh, but I will just go over some uh, nice housekeeping now, really. So this is pretty much the end of the video, but I'm just going to ramble on a bit longer about some housekeeping you can do with your file. Uh, obviously, number one, you can... Um, First off, rename this win to like overlay, uh, overlay files or something. Uh, and then I want to cut that out, put it over here so it's not in this file. And then I want to name this CSGO observer, you know, just uh, label everything. It won't let me do it because it's currently running, uh, which actually, sorry, I can just get rid of it. CSGO observer. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to create a shortcut on this run. Create shortcut. And I'm just control X and then control V. And this is just the run bat file. Um, I like to put that there. And I also like to get this file. Control X, control V. And this is CSGO overlay. And so this way you can simply click this button and then click this button and then change your HUD in here, connect it all, and it's sweet. Um, so that's one housekeeping thing I like to do. Uh, yeah, I think that's really it, actually. <laughs> that's, that's like the main housekeeping thing I like to do. Just so you just click run, click CSGO, that's all you need to do. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm pretty interested in this HUD. Uh, it's honestly really, um, like a really powerful, um, piece of software, uh, for producing your CSGO, uh, overlays. And hopefully one day we can have, um, this is what I've been working on real quick. Uh, one day we can have, uh, minimap. So another thing we can do with the HUD, not yet, but um, this software has the potential of doing stuff like the, the ESL HUD stuff, which is what I'm currently looking into. Uh, having these player position X sprites and having um, all these utilities. Because now you, it was um, last year, you can get all the positions of these nades and stuff, so um, that should be exciting. But I'll keep you guys updated if I work it out or if um, Austin Curden works it out. Um, sorry if I butchered your name, mate. Um, but seriously, if you guys have any problems, just read the readme. Um, just just read it, bro. You know, it's honest. It's it, it's literally right here. It's not too difficult to get this up. But if you did have trouble, I hope my video helped. And I'll um, see you guys around, I guess. <laughs> How do I end my videos? Bye. Meh. <laughs>